All right, guys, we're gonna go into this backyard and completely transform it from start to finish. They were getting flooding every time it rained back here, so we built them a retaining wall, regraded their backyard, and then we're gonna finish with sod. So let's dive right into it and see what it takes to complete this project. start the project with the grading. This is our main priority. Tim sorts the soil into two separate piles. One that can get reused and another one that gets hauled up. We've got, a, we've got pooling that goes on right here really bad. And we're gonna get everything to flow down and around. You can see the backyard's fairly flat. We got a nice aggressive pitch going here. So we've got to catch this and get it to come to the side and down. We get the rough grade set because that determines the bottom elevation of the retaining wall, which gets installed next. So as Tim's digging, he's sorting the organic topsoil into one pile and the structural soil into another pile to be reused separately, of course. He doesn't take big bites because he wants to make sure to keep those two types of soils separate. Tim angles in one of the boulders. I consider this a little bit of a risky move. This means he's gambling on being able to find a triangle piece that will fit perfectly with the angled boulder he's just placed. We use the CMP Hydro Grapple. This allows us to angle the stones and flip them around with ease. finds the rock that he wants to use and gets it into the position that he thinks will fit best, he'll place it up behind the retaining wall and on the bank. He needs to backfill the wall to properly support the new rock before it goes in place. What's the plan? I'm going to backfill and put these two in place. So that you can get support behind that? You're going to leave that crooked one crooked? The crooked one. It's very crooked. The one leading up? Yeah. Yeah, it just marries nice to that boulder right there. It marries really nice to that boulder right there, but I don't know how well it's going to look in the overall grand scheme of things. See, look at I love this look. I love sticking the big ones in periodically. I think it's a great look. It's designed for kids to uh, climb on it. They've got, they got little kids here, and I wanted bigger boulders so that they can feel comfortable climbing on these and they're not gonna you know you can yank on them they're not gonna go anywhere we lay out a boulder fabric behind the retaining wall this is not the same as regular landscape fabric this is heavier duty interwoven and it's designed to stretch and flex without ripping specifically for boulder applications As we build up, we need to continue to backfill because the new stones that get placed need to be married into the stones below them and the soil behind them. Clumped soil doesn't compact. 
so it has to be broken down into as fine a particulate matter as possible. The big clumps may look like they're already compacted, but when you put a big clump behind a retaining wall, the smaller soil can't work its way down and below those clumps, leaving an airspace and leaving areas for future settlement. So we can break the soil down to make sure that that's not a possibility. So Tim is Tim picks a packing rock. He wants something with a narrow point. Soil gets placed and feathered in small lifts. Some lifts Tim opts to hand pack. This allows him to do visual inspection and also to get a feel of how well the soil is compacting. Everything gets done over and over again in lifts. he laid this one up there's that crooked boulder oh you see that triangle piece he used that in there I like I like the way this looks this is a nice looking wall Tim thank you I, it's kind of a it's kind of a unique what would we call this because it's not a, pa a basket weave we got monolithic pieces in it what, what would you call this the monolithic piece, pieces are the bigger ones that stand up in between I don't know what you call it. It's just it's the way I like to do walls. So we're gonna call it the way Tim likes to do walls. I'm just trying to. I want to make sure this grade works. I got to get this chopped out the right way. Okay. I want this all to come through. I'm trying to. I know I got to get. I, I wanna. I got clay, and then we got black dirt. So I'm trying to save the homeowner money because we scrounged up enough black dirt to try to. So you got to get this deep enough. Figure out exactly where your grades are gonna set. 
get the clay out, put the black dirt back in. He also wants us now, if we have room in the budget, to move all this, move a bunch of this rock underneath the deck and fill that area up. So I got to leave some dirt because he's kind of worried about water puddling up in there. Oh, uh, so you, you're going to need some clay for that. I might. No, I got it. I want to get John here. I want to at least get rid of a load of it. With the wall in place, we can reconcentrate on the grades and get it prepped for sod. Subgrade has to be cut down enough to allow us to add black dirt back in without altering the course of the flow of water. But before we can finish grading, we've got to get that area below the deck established and that can't be done with a piece of equipment. They need to add soil below the deck to keep the water from pooling. So the decorative rock gets moved to the side, soil gets added in, and then the rock gets put back in place. We've got to get the water to flow from below this deck, through the backyard, down the side yard, and out to the street. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my With sod on the way and rain scheduled, the site gets tarped. This will be a good test to see how well the grades we've worked hard at are performing. The customer sends us their own homemade video showing how the grades are performing. This area used to be flooded out and inaccessible and now everything drains down through the backyard, through the side yard, and right to the street where it belongs. After the rains pass through, we've still got sod delay and we need to make sure that our grades didn't get muddied up too bad. Water's up to my chin. Sod arrives the next morning right on time, but that doesn't mean our site is ready. We've got some small holes to patch after the thunderstorms went through. Mainly the footprints where Tim walked from tarping and untarping the site. So we CMP the entire lot, but then we had three inches of rain. Even with it tarped, still not quite ideal. So now we're going to go over the grade with some dry soil and just fill in any little tiny pockets that we find. Too wet to bring the ASV in with the hydro bucket, so everything gets done by hand. Live action! Whatever happened to the turtle man? Dude, I don't know. He's <laughs> pretty turtle. good, man. Turtle man is awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even do what he did. <laughs> Somebody pay him in some old chicken wire fencing. Yeah. I ain't got no money, but I got this extra section of chicken wire fencing. Would you like that? Oh, hell yeah. He lost one finger, man. Totally <laughs> worth it. Got nine yeah. others. He was a worker for you or? Turtle no. man? Oh. He was on, uh, you know, how much of that's made up, but he was on Discovery Channel or something. Turtle ones. man was the most redneck hillbilly, jump in a pond, go down to the swim to the bottom. Grab a snapping turtle, come up, go down with 10 fingers, come up with nine and still be smiling, going live action. Once the grades get set, the sod can finally start to go down. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing. To the whistle of the wind, Lord, I'm thankful. Everything gets cut in around the bottom of the boulder walls. When it's dark, light my way. Bless my heart, Lord, bless my day. I had a hard time, but you've always been. Can you 
Can any of you guys do three rolls at once? Can you? Can you or do, would you? I mean, that's the difference. You probably could, but why would you? <laughs> I know. I'm watching Alex and he's over here trying to have three at a time. And I'm like, I've never actually seen anybody do that before. So you have you done three? Yeah, I just did three, but my arms aren't long. I didn't see it, so it didn't count. You could say you did three, but I don't believe you. One, two, three. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Not happening. Alex, can you do three? I know you got them little tiny kind of stringy arms, so they might have a oh there we go. There we go. Sam's got it. We gotta give Sam credit. Sam can do three. Can you do four? Oh, he's gonna try. Oh, shnikey, Sam. He's going for four. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, too bad I didn't have the camera on. You <laughs> can <laughs> Guys, let's check out what we've got done. So they built the retaining wall along the backside to level out the yard so that they could then create a better drainage swale going out down the side. We have resodded everything and reestablished turf so that we now have vegetation they can grow, they can have their kids come out and play, do whatever they want to do. Um, and I think that wraps up this video. Is there any other projects we got to do out on this site, Tim, or just touching this stuff up? Um, just touching stuff up. All right, and that's what we've got for you for a video today, guys. God bless, go get them, hit the subscribe button, hit the share, the bell notification, hit whatever else you want to hit, except for your kids, and we'll talk to you on another one. God bless, go get them, you guys. See you next time.